So as you can tell, we're out here on the golf course and we're talking that hot topic in golf, speed. We've come to learn this in the last few months. I know it's certainly become crystal clear to me the value of distance and ultimately hitting your golf ball closer to the green. Why? Because the game becomes easier the closer we get to the hole. When you have an 8-iron in your hand versus a 6-iron, you're better, I'm better. We're all better closer to the green and so it certainly is going to behoove us to learn how to get this club head moving get that driver moving so we can get the ball moving out there closer to the green i've been on a little project myself something i've looked into i've owned a trackman for a decade now and for the first 10 years my longest shot you can normalize you can take the wind out the temperature all of that on trackman my longest shot for the first 10 years was 291. in the last six weeks i've been working on it i've been intentional with getting faster my longest shot is 314 yards that's a significant change and it's all purely because i've said okay I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to jump in and see if I can get faster. And you know what I've found along the way? I'm not any less accurate. I'm longer and I'm no less accurate. It does take some practice. There are two things I'm going to share with you that we've got to work towards, but it's going to require practice. It's going to require work. You will be blown away by the effects this can have on your golf game. Now, am I saying that I'm hitting all my tee shots 314 yards out there? No, my longest is 314. Uh, but if my previous average distance was 275, my current average distance is 285. And I plan on marching that up towards 300. That's what it's all about. Okay, We're going to practice at the limit. We're going to practice beyond the limit. How are we going to do, go about it? I've got two things for you. First, intent. When you're on the driving range, I'm certainly on the golf course as you can tell here, but on the, on the driving range, I want you to be intentional. What does that mean? You're going to count out two sets of five, two times five golf balls, and I do want you to count them out because this is so much fun. Before you know it, you've hit 30 drives literally coming out your shoes, and I don't want you to do that simply because you can hurt yourself. Two sets of five, and if you're really going to push it, we'll go with three, okay? We'll compromise. Three, okay? Sets of five, you're going to hit five shots as hard, as fast as you possibly can. I'm going to hit this shot trying to demonstrate what intent looks like, where I'm really pushing the envelope, okay? So here we go. Okay, so it's... I've got it really get the, and I know this might seem a little comical but whew, I'm really gonna do what I can to get moving I'm not looking for good shots but I'm looking for fast okay come on come on Andrew let's go let's move this club let's go and that's kind of amazing dead straight down the middle it wasn't the greatest hit in the world but I guarantee you it was four miles an hour faster than that opening swing you saw simply because I ramped up my intent and you hit five and you take a break and you hit five and you take a break and you hit five slowly but surely your muscles joints limbs and tendons are going to start to get accustomed to that increase in speed and you're going to start to feel normal when you go and play i want you to feel normal when you're practicing we're intentionally going to push that envelope as far as we can down the track okay point number two and this is a biggie this this one has helped me a lot because I'm sure as you look at me hit these shots, you'll notice, whoa, Andrew doesn't have a very long backswing. No, I don't. I'm working on getting it longer. But the more I can get this handle displaced, the longer I can get this handle to travel from start to the top of the backswing, the more time it gives me to put energy, to pump energy into the system and to ramp up the club speed. Okay, and so if you've got a short backswing, you're going to have a hard time generating a lot more speed. That's why I'm working on this great little exercise, and this is a beauty. Set up to the ball, hold on with your lead hand. Now from here, you're going to keep your eyes on the golf ball, and I want you to stretch. I want you to take that trail arm and take it as far back as you can. Whew, I can tell you this. That's a good stretch that's going to give me some sense as to getting that club further back. Let me try that on this shot here. So, 
set up. Point number two, let's make the handle go as far back as we can. Let's try that. I know it's not way back there, certainly not as far back as I demonstrated, but I'm pretty sure it was longer in the backswing. Okay, so two key points. Let's practice with intent. Why? Because hitting the ball further has great value towards lowering our score. And number two, let's get that handle displaced. Let's get that handle moving as far back there as we can get it going. That's going to help us. We'll have more fun. We'll win more matches. Who wouldn't want that? Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll respond to as many as I can.